Hey everybody, this is Deanna. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and I am coming on today with kind of a Christmas project. Um, I hauled these Santas from BB Crafts along with these really cute little winter charms and some reindeers and these little faceted beads. So this is what we're gonna be working with today. And I just wanted to show you a couple of ideas. Um, you can use <clears throat> cabochons for, you can put a bale on the back and make a charm out of them, like this one. This is a BB Crafts um, cabochon that I had um, put a bale and made a charm on a last haul. But today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, let's see. Let's jump right in. The first project was not my idea. I had watched a live with Poochie Tat, and I just love getting ideas from her. And she had hauled this big bag off of Amazon of these little razor blades. And every crafter could use these in their craft room, right? I know I've used quite a few of them myself. And she embellished them and I just thought they were the cutest little things. So, um, of course, I ordered them from Amazon and I love winter crafting. It is my favorite time of year. I love snowmen, snowflakes, deer, just the whole winter everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these charms and I'm going to make a little dangle to embellish this. So I've already glued on with some P6000 um, glue, the snowflake. I let it dry overnight so that I didn't have any issues. And then <clears throat> I picked out some different size um, of these eye pins. I think I'm going to start with this one. And I'm just going to play around. I picked out quite a few different things to add. I wanted to bring out some of the red and the blue and the white. So um, I thought that these were pretty cute. So I'm just going to put together a couple of I might need a longer eye pin for this. But it's just to give you an idea of different ways you can use your cabochons and, um, and have fun with them. You don't always have to turn them into a dangle, right? I know some people use them on projects and just, you know, add them. They're just fun. So I think that's really super cute. So I'm gonna take and cut off the extra. And as you know, I don't know how to wire wrap. Cut off a little bit more. I don't know how to wire wrap beads. I've tried and tried and tried. So what I'm going to do is just take my round nose pliers, put it on the tip, and just roll and keep rolling. Just 
some reason this doesn't want to roll. <clears throat> oh, there. There we go. Get that nice and tight. <clears throat> and it is sticking out a little bit. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. But and then I have um, my little jump rings here. And these are um, from BB Craft as well. And they're just, this has lasted me a long time and I use it all the time. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to have a jump ring here. But before I add that, I want to take, I'm going to do a little twist here. Um, I know I put them in here. So, I thought that these colors are perfect for um, this little candy. So, let's pick out a couple colors. I'm going to pick out a blue, a clear, and a red. And I just think these are so fun because it just adds an extra pop to your project. So there's a blue, clear, and a red. And I, it's just an eye pin. I don't need the loop. And then I'm just gonna twist. And get that real tight on there. So it looks like that. And what I'm going to do is take my jump ring. I'm going to add my little charm. And then I'm going to add my little beads and see how cute that is just that extra little pop now I'm going to take another jump ring let's see I'll go a little smaller I think I love having the different sizes all in one container. So I'm going to take another little jump ring and I'm going to hook it to my dangle here. Let me get. There. And then <clears throat> we're going to take another one and we're going to put it on let's see I think I might need a bigger one for I can do it. There. So, look how cute this is. And it's really cute. Um, you can add these. has little gifts in like a tag flip. And, 
or you could just package it up really, really cute. Um, has just a little goodie. Um, you can add them in a loaded envelope. There's so many ways you can present this to your the person that you're gifting this to. And like I said, this little bead here just gives that an extra little pop. And I have been doing this a lot to some of my projects um, that I've shared. And I didn't have any of these beads in my stash. And I just absolutely love them. So again, bbcrafts.com. And everything that I have hauled from them in this collaboration, I will have listed below. If you use my code, you get an extra 10% discount, and that's H-O-G-U-E 10, and that will be listed below. I absolutely love this company. And if you have a YouTube and 100 subscribers or more, you can apply to do a collaboration with um, bbcrafts.com and I want to show you just another idea that I have um, I picked up <clears throat> some stackable drawers these um, acrylic drawers at the Dollar Tree I had seen them there boy it's been a long time and it's taped shut now but I have been waiting for them to come back into stock. You never know. My Dollar Tree is really small, and they're just redoing everything with all the changes. And um, it just seemed like during Christmas, the shelves were very empty, so I was really surprised. So I bought five of these. And I really enjoyed Christmas crafting this year. I decided that I'm going to keep them on my desk. You can hook these together by gluing them probably with some E6000, but I'm not going to. So what I decided is I, like I said, I bought five. I have them stacked up on my desk and I'm going to use all the stuff, all the fun charms and cabochons that I've hauled um, that are Christmas from BB Crafts. Let me use these ones. And this is the reindeer and the Santa. And I thought it would be really cute because most crafters are visual. If it's in sight, you're going to use it. <clears throat> At least that's how I work. But I'm gonna take, these are little pink Velcros. And I thought, how cute to add a Velcro on the back of Santi and put him just on the front. And then I can store his the package of him in here and let's do another one and it just makes it so festive um like i said i'm i want to leave some of my christmas stuff out and work on christmas projects throughout the season um and that way when christmas comes around in July, I might have a few things ready to go. And I love sending racks. And I thought that these would be really cute also to um, fill with some bows and flowers and just some handmade goodies. And how cute to put like a little trinket, um, goodie bag inside and have this on the outside and when I run out I can always take him off pop him off this will always be on there and whatever I 
add next I could put on there. But it's just to spruce it up. So this is how I'm going to show you. Let's see if I can get in frame. For some reason, my camera is having a hard time staying in frame today. But um, there's my stack of five. And how cute is that? And especially if I could add something new here and here and here. So those are just a couple of ideas that I have um, that I wanted to share. And um, I hope it inspires you to continue to do what you love and you get some different ideas. I hope everyone has a great day, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will. I'm going to have an end-of-the-year giveaway. Um, I will be posting that really soon, so stay tuned. Have a great day. Catch you on the next crafty video. Bye.